Ah, Major Barry. It's true then. Uh, Mrs. Marshall has been murdered? It is true. Shocking. Most shocking. Of course, I can't tell you after being in an Indian hill station. What you don't know about human nature isn't worth knowing. Matter of fact, this reminds me of a case in Simla. A fellow named Robinson. Uh, was it Ramsler? Anyway, he was in the East Wilts. Or was it the North Ceres? Major Barry. Doesn't matter, really. Quiet chap, you know. Went for his wife one evening in their bungalow, got her by the throat. She'd been carrying on with some fellow or other. By Jove, he nearly did for her, too. Surprises all. Quiet chap like that. You see an analogy to this case? Well, that is to say, never said anything about Marshall. Quiet, but a thoroughly nice chap. Wouldn't say a word against him in the world. You were not at the hotel today? No, wanted to do some telephoning. The post office here isn't very private, so I drove over to Kingsbridge. Had a bit of bother with the motor earlier on, but young Jenks patched it up, so off I went. Almost ran down that fool cat and dog on my way up the high street. You were quite taken with Mrs. Marshall, were you not? You know I was, man. Have the decency to let that drop, will you? It is a case of murder, Major Barry. Poirot does not let anything drop. What time did you leave? Just before ten. What time did you return? Only just now. The drive? It is that long? Well, no. A bit embarrassing for an old campaigner like me, but I got lost. These confounded lanes, twisting and turning all over the place. Damn confusing part of the world. Did you speak to anyone in Kingsbridge? Want me to prove an alibi, eh? Saw about 50,000 people in Kingsbridge, but that's not to say they'll remember seeing me. Was there anything else? Can you think of anything else? Nothing. I'm out of it. Right out of it. My motor car is running like new, Mr. Jenks. Thank you. My pleasure, Major. Thanks to you, Mr. Poirot. I found a winch handle for you. What, what do you want with a winch if you haven't a sailboat? One must start somewhere, my friend. Are there any telegrams for me? I'll just check. Of course, sir. Ah, there you are, Poirot. What can I do for you? Do you have the background checks on the suspects? Yes, here they are. Any news on Jimmy Nash, the photographer? I haven't received the report yet, but your inquiry got Scotland Yard very excited about something. I will be curious to hear what they find. Au revoir, monsieur. Information you requested should be available later in the day.
like a ride to the island? Yes, please. Let's be off then. I run errands for the hotel guests when I can. I'll fetch things from Kingsbridge that they can't find at the chemists here in Leathercombe Bay. I've got my own motorboat and can take guests fishing too. Though, with U-boats around these days, nobody wants to do much fishing. Well, this is neither... From the hotel to Cutter's Cove, it is... Can you roll me to Cutter's Cove? Mr. Pyro, after your... A hidden passage. Now we're getting somewhere. Hello, this seaweed wasn't here before. A sandwich tin. Good lord. You must test it, of course, Hastings. But do not expect to find this is a box of powdered sugar. Too right. For heaven's sake, it looks like an army has marched through here. Poirot, the invasion! I think not, Hastings. These are not the footprints of many men, but of one man only, passing here many times. This is a useful point to measure the time it takes to reach Cutter's Cove. The spot that will be the scene of the murder. From the monastery ruins to Cutter's Cove via the tunnel, it is 11 minutes. This is a useful point to... From the smugglers and pub via the tunnel, it is 28 minutes. And that, my friend, should be the last timing we need to determine how much time would be needed for any of our suspects to reach Cutter's Cove. Of course, they must also make their way from the scene of the crime as well.
do yourself a credit, mon ami. Bravo. A discovery of significant importance. What have we here? Mrs. Castle's wire recorder! I'd almost forgotten about that. Yes, please. On me way. Gladys and I have seen several of Miss Stewart's films. It's a tragedy she can't make any more now. You know, it got me thinking. Film stars are immortal. Years and years after they die, they are still up on the screen, entertaining us and taking our minds off our troubles. Did you ever think of that? Film stars never die. The sandwich tin from the cave? It contains heroin, beyond any doubt. Linda? Linda? Linda, dear, I'm having dinner in my room. Would you like to join me? Linda? Linda? Lord Linda! No! Help! Someone help us! It's my daughter! Please!